What's up guys welcome back again in today's video we are going to see which is the best antivirus app for your android phone so technically guys i never suggest uh, to download any antivirus app because uh, i found a lot of flaws in antivirus apps for example the more they protect your phone the more they consume your battery and the more they give you a lot of pop-ups and annoying messages so everybody just try once and they just get it off that one how about if you get some additional features uh, with antivirus like you know a built-in a photo locker video locker hide your photos and app logger itself privacy protection lot of features that you may get by downloading and storing other apps so that's why i'm going to recommend you guys one of the best antivirus app that you can use in 20 session right now and this app already i have shown you guys in one of the previous monthly app demo in two months back we more than two months i am using that antivirus let's begin and see well, the app i am talking about is du antivirus app lock free so this is one of the most popular antivirus and one of the safest you can see right now let me just open it here so I'm just going to give you guys here a quick overview how that app, what is that app and what can, what features it can do. This is antivirus app here. This is free of course. There is no in-app purchases. Yeah, you will see some of the ads here but right now there is no problem here. So going here you have uh, common options, antivirus setting, privacy setting, charging status. It can give you how much percentage charging has been done. So I never use this feature because it's fine. This is dash charging. So also you get this uh, antivirus setting here. You have real time protection. You can turn on the status bar here you can see if you like this icon you can turn that on and it's automatically get updated you can uh, ignore any app whatever you want for example if you don't want any app to get a scan there and if you're doing some spying job you don't want that so you can definitely go and use this feature again here uh, not much this is privacy setting i have just set it my uh, pin here so always use pin or pattern never use uh, fingerprint unlocking I, I know this is faster but it is more safe to use pin and password all right guys so you have many options a new app reminder protection level and you can set a custom time for example if you just unlock uh, leave your phone like that after how many seconds your phone get unlocked so you can do that thing here and i just have advanced here pass new apps reminder when you install a new app it will recommend you like if you want to protect your phone or not and protect system settings app ensures so some other features apps now coming back here so you can see here guys uh, it's doing uh, real time scanning you don't need to bother about thing whenever you install any app and whenever you uh, do any steps here copy paste from any external sd drive it automatically scans your system you don't need to bother about to go inside and search for a drive here uh, sd card it does work pretty much almost fine and it won't notify you until there are some serious issues and believe you guys from two months i never found anything else and uh, i used to connect my phones internet all time here i do a lot of games download a lot of images and drive things here sharing things so going here some extra fees that i want to show you guys that are more important the number one you will get a built-in app log and uh, you have private image private video breaking alert private game. if you just click on private image you can uh, import any of the photos from your gallery if i just take this photo And coming to the features here, it has app lock, private call, private images, private video, breaking alert, privacy clean. So number one is app lock. Using that, you can lock any app. For example, you can see I have just locked my uh, Gmail here. If I just go and try to use Gmail, I got the lock code here, right? You can see DU antivirus protection. So you don't need any further uh, anti uh, app lock. This is private image. You just click here. If you just uh, add any add one tab here you can just click here and add many features uh, this is my personal phone guys so i cannot show you guys any photo but anyway it does work pretty well no issues on that in private video you can import any of the mp4 and video files that you have filled with your phone and this is called breaking alert and uh, will capture a photo when attempted fail uh, for example uh, if i just uh, enable that uh, go to setting here uh, it will uh, take a photo so unlock that uh, okay guys here so i'm just uh, trying to open my gmail again if I just type any wrong picture, so I have already set it one attempt, but uh, anyway, I just tried a few attempts. So you have to just go back there and check. Go here, breaking alert. You can see it shows me like uh, uh, some of the photos that I just had right now. I attempted to unlock Gmail, it shows that. And this is one of the most important feature, it is called private call. So let me just give you guys a demo of the private call. So this is uh, if you try to add go to private call here and if you just add any number from here from your call log or contact or manually 
when you try to get a miss call or call from that uh, it won't be there in your call history uh, it will automatically get uh, uh, hidden from that so let me just add from a call log so i'm just going to give a call from that number so let me just show you here on my uh, phone dialer here this is a phone dialer here so right now uh, there is uh, no number of that number i'm just going to because all it has been hidden from there that's why it's not showing there so i'm getting call here right okay so if i just leave it that way if i just uh, click cancel from here okay guys so right now it is there and if i just uh, come here and go here so you can see it is uh, automatically hidden from here so let me go here so go to uh, private call here so you can see uh, it is already already increased to two that means uh, already a new miss call has came so that's how you can use this uh, calling feature so and if you guys might be thinking how much memory and ram it must be taking so let me give you uh, overview how much memory and battery it is taking you can see uh, uh, du antivirus on the oxygen os takes 27.03 mb of internal storage and it takes zero percent of battery and 27 mb of the memory last use so it's totally negligible no it takes very less storage installation you can see it takes 42 mb of average but zero percent of battery that is more important it takes on 11 mb of installation and zero percent of battery 25 mb of storage going to the android marshmallow it's take 27.25 mb of storage and 69 mb because it was running some real time scan a few times back here and zero percent of battery the only cons i have found with this app like it's not supporting fingerprint scanner as of now so which i think it's a good way because the same thing you can use to unlock your phone and the same way you will uh, you know unlock the app it's never practically safe that's why i always say and uh, never use any uh, fingerprint system based on you, any of the app use any pin or any password method that is always recommended so that's it guys a very recommended antivirus app in case you're looking for a very nice antivirus app for your phone with a lot of features that i have guys given you demo here so make sure to check that out and it's very nice antivirus so stay tuned if you find this video helpful hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like that and this is your startup your host thank you for watching guys we'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead